So you brought a brand new Avermedia LGP light, plugged it in, and now you're staring at your PC screen waiting for something to happen. In this video, I will give you a couple of steps to get your LGP light to show up on your PC screen. Welcome to Ask William. Avermedia is one of the most popular gaming capture cards currently on the market that promises one button streaming straight out of the box. But it's not working. Okay, first make sure that your HDMI cables are connected correctly and that your USB is plugged into your PC. Your console goes into the left HDMI and your TV or monitor into the right. This is called pass-through. Still nothing? Alright, let's try this. Please remember that your LGP light only comes with a USB cable. There are no drivers included in the box. So your first problem could be that Windows doesn't even know that your device is there. To fix this, Go to the Ava Media website at www.avamedia.com or click on the link in the description below. Enter the gaming and live streaming section. Click on search and type in the name of your device. In this case, it's an LGP light. Once you're on the site, keep on scrolling, scrolling all the way down, all the way down to the bottom until you get the download section. Now click on the application and drivers section. If you're not going to be using OBS for streaming, you can install Recentral, which is Avermedia's free streaming and recording application. But if you're using a third party program like OBS or OBS Studio, I suggest you just get the driver. Please note that if you do install Recentral, OBS will still work. You will just have more functionality on your device. Under the driver section, download and open the file. Double click on the GL310 folder. Select your operating system and install the drivers. After installing, you should see these two icons. If you don't, please restart your PC. Open OBS Studio and add a new scene to your profile. Let's call this LGP Stream. Under the Scene section, add a new source and select Video Capture Device. You should now be able to see your HDMI source. If you are streaming from a PS4, you should check your HDPC setting if you still have no signal. If you are using an LGP light, make sure that under device you select the LGP light stream engine. If you choose the Avermedia one, you could have some latency issues. Restart your OBS and you should be ready to start streaming from your LGP light. I really hope this video helped you. If it did, please like and subscribe and let me know in the comments if you have any other streaming issues I can assist you with. From me, William, thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.